this is Captain Chaudhary. I want to do some basic stability calculations with you today. Now I thought that you know one by one I would try to take uh, these initial uh, basic stability lectures with you. So uh, to start with today we will be talking about finding out KB and LCB. KB is the distance of keel, distance from keel the center of buoyancy, the vertical distance between the center of buoyancy and keel. And LCB is the longitudinal distance between the aft perpendicular and the center of points. Let us say if we talk about the box vessel. Now what is the speciality of the box vessel? The box vessel, if I see from top, it appears uniform at all water levels. And if I see from forward or aft, transverse underwater area is same from forward to aft. So if I see from top, if I see from top and the water plane area is constant on all the drafts, I can say that the KB is draft by 2. And if I see from forward or aft, if I find that transverse underwater area is uniform from forward to aft, I can say that LCB is equal to L by 2. So suppose there is a center of buoyancy over here. Now suppose there is center of buoyancy over here. This distance, suppose this is aft and this is forward. This distance is called LCB and this vertical distance is called KB. Now if we look at a shape like this, you know, and if I see from top, the water plane area looks like this and for all the draft if the water plane area is same I can say that the KB is draft by 2 but to find out the position of uh, to find out the position of LCB I will have to take moment I can take moment about aft I can take moment about forward or any other convenient point so to understand this concept let me do a few numerical from my book complete ship stability and name of this chapter is calculation of kb and lcb so the question is a vessel 100 meter long has uniform water plane area at different drafts a rectangular water plane amidship is 20 meter broad and 70 meter long forward of this the water plane breadth tapers to zero in 20 meters above this rectangle the water plane is semicircular find LCB and KB so uh, we have a ship shape like this and this tapering happens in 20 meters this distance is 70 meters and this breadth is 20 meters semicircular portion therefore would be having a radius of 10 meters so total length of the vessel from forward to aft is 100 meters so now uh, the ship floats at a draft of 8 meters as you can see if you see from top the water plane area which appears to you is uniform throughout the drafts that means from top to bottom the ship's water plane area is uniform at all the drafts. So we can say that KB is half of the draft. Now uh, we have area that is semicircular, we have area that is rectangular, we have area that is triangular. Now let us find out what is the semicircular area. Area of a circle is pi r square, so semicircle will be half into pi into r square that is. 10 square. So this becomes 3.14 into 100, 314 divided by 2 that is 157 meters square. Now this area is 70 into 20 that is 1400 meters square and this area is half into base into height that is 200 meters square. Now in a situation like this where the water plane area is uniform from top to bottom I could find out where is the position of center of flotation which is the centroid of the area from aft and 
whatever is the distance of center of rotation from aft same will be the distance of center of buoyancy from the aft and therefore if I have LCF I have LCB also now if this is the semicircle where is the position of centroid with respect to the diameter the position of centroid with respect to diameter is 4 r by 3 pi so in this case radius is 10 meters 3 into 3.14 4.246 this is 4.246 minus 10 gives me 5.734 so this distance is 5.734 right now if I take the moment about aft I will have to write down a1 b1 a1 is this area b1 is the distance of the centroid from the reference line so uh, a1 d1 plus a2 d2 a2 is 1400 d2 is half of 70 is 35 meters 35 plus 10 is 45 meters now this area we have seen is 200 meters square and what is the distance where is the position of the uh, centroid of this portion with respect to this line so that is one third of uh, 20 6.67 so this distance is 6. Point 6, 7. So 200 multiplied by 10 plus 70, 80, 80, 6.67. And the whole thing divided by total area. Total area is 1400 plus 200, 1600, 1757 is the total area. So uh, A1, D1 means it is 157 into 5.734 so let's try and do this so 46.235 is the LCB okay and now let's do this question the vessel of triangular transfer section the draft is 6.4 meters freeboard is 1.2 meters and the beam of the vessel is 16 meters and the length of the vessel is 94 meters now we want to find out KB and LCB in this case now what I told you is when we see from forward or aft and if the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire length we can say that the LCB is half of the length LCB equal to LCF equal to L by 2 so we can say that it is 47 meters now in this kind of situation where the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire length I could say that LCB is equal to 94 upon 2 that is length by 2 that is 47 meters and for the KB like the reasoning is the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire length so if I could find out the position of the centroid of this area with respect to keel this distance will also give me the KB for the entire ship because the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire ship so I must know <coughs> K, uh, what is this draft this draft is 6.4 meters right so the position of centroid with respect to keel will be two-third of this so 6.4 into 2 equal to divide by 3 gives me 4.267 4.267 is equal to a uh, KB is equal to 4.267 meters now just for the interest sake like you know this extra information is given in this question like this is 1.2 meters and uh, this distance say it is 16 meters now in case if I had to find out Okay, what is the breadth of water line I must understand that what I see is this triangle which is submerged and this triangle which is part of the ship's transverse profile 
So because this triangle is similar to this triangle, I would say this side divided by this side, so smaller side divided by longer side should be equal to this height divided by this height. So uh, smaller breadth divided by the bigger breadth is equal to smaller vertical dimension that is 6.4 divided by the total height or total depth that is 7.6 meters. So what is the breadth of water line? So the breadth of water line would be 6.4 into 16 equals divided by 7.6 gives me 13.474. Right. So sometimes they would ask you, okay, uh, what is the displacement of the vessel if the vessel is floating in salt water? So we know from the basic physics that uh, a floating body displaces the same amount or same weight of water, you know, which is equivalent to the weight of the floating object. So uh, weight of the ship can be found out by the underwater volume of the ship multiplied by the density. So underwater volume of the ship would be this transverse underwater area multiplied by the length. So what is the underwater volume? Transverse area is half base into height. So breadth is 13.474. Height is 6.4. So this becomes the transverse underwater area multiplied by the length that is 94 and this volume when I multiply with the density of water that is 1.025 I get the displacement right so this is how I can find out the displacement also in case it is asked let's look at uh, a third question here the vessel has semicircular transverse section below the rectangular area and is longitudinally uniform her beam is 14 meters and draft is 9 meters LBP is 44 meters. So length is 44 meters and the ship looks like this. This is the rectangular portion and below the rectangular portion there is a semicircular portion. Apparently this distance is 2 meters. The rectangular part what you see from the aft and this is semicircular. Our beam is 14 meters so this distance should be 7 meters because the total beam is 14 meters right so uh, I have to find out the LCB and KB when I see from aft the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire length so we can say that LCB is equal to L by 2 so if the L is 44 meters LCB should be 22 meters now to find out the KB, I can say that the transverse underwater area is uniform for the entire length. So if I can find out the position of centroid of this transverse underwater area and what is the distance of that centroid from the keel will also give me the position of center of buoyancy vertically about the keel. So what I do is I look at this transverse area, take the moment of this rectangular area about the keel Take the moment of this semicircular area about the keel and then the calculations are A1 D1 plus A2 D2 divided by total area A1 plus A2. So what is the area of this semicircle? The radius is 7. So area is half because this is 14 and this is 2 28 meters square what is the distance of the centroid of semicircle with respect to the diameter the distance is 4 r by 3 pi that means 4 into 7 
into 3 into 22 into 7. 2.97 I can see. 2.97. So if this distance is 2.97, the remaining distance is 2.97. 4.03 so distance from here to here is 4.03 so now I take the moment that is 76.93 into d1 that is 4.03 plus 28 into 8 because this is 7 meters and 1 more meters 8 this divided by the total area that is 0.93 104.93 gives me 5.089 give me 5.089 meters